Noel McKeegan from Gizmag here at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit and I'm speaking to Clement Dorrance from Venturi, a company based in Monaco which Gizmag readers will be familiar with for, from the, uh, the Fetish electric vehicle which has been around for a couple of years and uh, we're speaking to uh, Venturi today about a concept car they're showing here in Detroit, the Volage. Uh, can you give us a rundown on the Volage, please? Uh, yes. So the the Venture Volage is uh, is uh, an electric vehicle, but it is equipped with the Active Wheel from Michelin. Uh, the Active Wheel is uh, actually uh, you have uh, eight electric motors in the car, uh, two per wheel, one for the propulsion of the car and the other one for the suspension. So uh, basically, uh, the car, the ar architecture of the car is really different than regular car because it's all empty. There is only uh, the batteries in the center of the car, and all the rest is in the wheels. So the road holding of the car is really, really good because uh, it's a four-drive wheel. Uh, the gravity center is really low, and you have a, you keep a really good motricity of, the, of the, the the power of the car. The power is 220 kilowatts which is quite good. Uh, the car goes from 0 to 60 miles uh, an hour in uh, less than 5 seconds, which is like equivalent to a Ferrari or Porsche. Yes. So it is a truly a really sports car, but uh, really easy to drive because you keep uh, the control of the car really easily. And what sort of range does it get on a single charge? Yeah, on a single charge it has 200 miles of range. Uh, which so is again, good. We, yeah, we use uh, lithium polymer batteries, which is uh, high-end technology in, uh, in terms of batteries. Uh, there is a, a battery management system to, uh, to manage, which is really important to manage the charge and discharge and temperature of the batteries. Uh, and this is a system that uh, Venturi have developed? Yes, yes, this is a, this is a Venturi developed system. And there's also a separate system then to manage the electronic suspension? Uh, electronic suspension and uh, electric, electronic motors, yes, of course. Yes. And you can uh, parameter everything from the dashboard. You have uh, two screens on the dashboard and everything is, uh, is numeric and you can uh, parameter the, okay. the, the power on the, the rear wheels and, or the front wheels, uh, depending on the, on the condition. And uh, do you think the, um, this car will ever become a production vehicle? Is that the plan or is it just showcasing your technology? Yes, it is. So far it is still a concept. It is a, a unique piece. But there is, there is a demand uh, for this type of, of car. Uh, so we hope we will, uh, we will sell it one day. I don't have a date so far. But it, it's going to be a really exclusive car. Like kind of expensive, really small production. And, uh, as was the, the fetish, which yes, is exactly. you are still producing that at the moment? We are still producing the fetish. We, uh, uh, it is a really exclusive car. Only yes. 25 of it uh, will be produced. We, uh, we already sold 20 cars. Okay, so, so we better hurry if we want, yeah, want yeah. one. There's only five left. Uh, and Venturi also has uh, another utility style vehicle that has been developed for uh, the French Postal Service, is that yes. correct? Yes, actually we have been working for more than two years on a call for tender for the French Postal Service. Yes. Uh, we have just won. So you've won the tender? Yes, yep. so we will uh, supply 250 uh, vehicles uh, for the French Postal Service. Uh, every vehicle will be delivered in 2010. Uh, so this this vehicle is quite different. It's a yes. conversion of a of a Citroen, a French uh, car okay, manufacturer. Yes, yes. So basically, we took uh, a regular uh, Citroen, took off the the engine, and put all the the Venturi uh, powertrain in the in the in the car. Okay. And which Citroen model have you built? It, it is a Citroen uh, Berlingo. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, familiar with that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, and this is what uh, French postmen we will use uh, starting this year. Okay, and that uh, again, beyond that, uh, it's likely to be something that um, other companies other than the, the French Postal Service will look at using, or is it exclusively for no? For actually, this tender? actually, we we developed it for the French Postal yes, Service, okay. but there is a big demand from collectivities, from big companies. Everyone is interested in this type of cars. Uh, so, of course, we will sell it to other clients or customers. Uh, we are actually in partnership with Citroën 
and Peugeot, which is the same group. Yes. We will provide first 1,500 vehicles uh, and Citroën and Peugeot will uh, take in charge the commercial commercialization yes. and uh, the, the after sale service. Absolutely. And uh, just finally, uh, you were speaking about uh, we're going to drive one of these vehicles from Shanghai to Paris to demonstrate yes. what's uh, possible with, uh, yes. with this platform. Yes. Uh, you know, most of the time people think uh, you can go far away with electric vehicles yes. or it's not reliable or it's, uh, you know. Uh, so what we wanted to do is to show, to prove people that uh, you can go from Shanghai to Paris with an electric vehicle without any assistance, just, you know, uh, you have to find a, a plug to recharge the, yeah. the batteries every night and, uh, and you can, you you can, can do it. So back. we will, uh, the departures plan on, uh, on uh, May 2010 so, yeah. uh, and, uh, and it's, not a, it's not a race, no, absolutely. So, yeah. so they will take their time. And uh, we think we, they will arrive in Paris in uh, end of July. Okay, uh, fantastic. Well, thanks very much for your time. You're welcome.